Hi, my name is Amy Moore and I'm a decorative painter and today I want to show you a, a cute little video on um, a tag, a mixed media tag. I just love doing these and that's quick and easy um, uh, technique. I'm using uh, a stencil by uh, Tracy Morrow, which is called Honeycomb. Uh, I'm using a stamp uh, from Lizia uh, Design, a little uh, B. I'm going to be using a deco art uh, media fluid acrylic paint and uh, some um, faux squirrel by dynasty uh, brushes and i only need two okay so let's get started the first thing that i do is i'm going to do the background i'm going to move this aside and i'm going to i use a glass you can use um uh, the gel uh, little pads or uh, palette paper whichever um, one that you have on hand and I'm going to be using these three colors to start which is a uh, burnt umber hence a yellow light and yellow oxide I'm going to have um, all the supplies that I've used on my link below and also there's going to be a deco art um, code that you can use that I'll save on your shopping cart Okay, shake these really good and what I do is I put a couple little drops here and there of each little uh, color and you're never going to get the same background it'll always be different uh, for the burnt umber I only put like a uh, in a couple little areas okay and I'll move those aside. And then what I do is I take um, water, spray bottle of water, and just make a puddle. Okay. And then I'm going to lay my tag flat down and just make sure that it's all covered with paint. Okay. And then I'm going to lift this up. And I need a little bit there on the top. Okay. And then it'll curl when it's wet and then it'll um, uh, go flat when it's dry. So now I'm going to take some baby wipe and just clean off the glass. This off. And I think I'm going to take a paper towel. Okay, just wipe this off in my hands. Okay, so we're done with the glass. What I'm gonna do now is dry this a little bit more. Hold it down. These tags here, you can get it at any craft stores. If there's a big puddle, it might take a little longer to dry. And I'm going to show you um, uh, like another way of putting the words on here. And then that way you have a choice uh, between the two of which uh, one you prefer. Okay, so it's starting to go flat. There's just this little section right here. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, the Archival Ink. This is a Brown Espresso. And what I'm going to do is just um, I put my little edge there a little bit. And then we'll go uh, with some black afterwards. All the way to the top. Okay. 
Now I have here um, the stencil. Again, it's from uh, Tracy Morrow's website and it's called Honeycomb. And this one here has like three different sizes. I use the medium and the small size. And we're also going to use um, the uh, Dynasty Stencil Pro. It's a 3-8 brush. Okay, and I'm going to bring my palette over here. And we're going to use uh, Burnt Umber in uh, yellow oxide, which I put uh, like on the center and a little bit up here. So we're going to start with the Burnt Umber. And yellow oxide. I'm going to start with the light color first. You need paper towel to dry your paint off. Okay, so I'm going to load uh, with the the yellow oxide. Just wipe as much as you can onto the paper towel, okay? And I'm going to put a little bit here, and I'm just going to go in circles. And then I'm going to put the big one in the middle here. I might need a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit of oxide in here. Okay, and then I'm going to just leave my brush dirty. I'm going to pick up some burnt umber. Wipe it off here. Okay, and I'm going to put a little big one down here. Okay, and then I'm going to put some little ones over here. You can put it wherever you want. And I think that's good. I'll put one big one right here. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm going to just put my brush in the water. Okay, and then the next thing that I did was uh, Again, this is a Lysia, I'm not sure how you pronounce this name. Um, it's a little bumblebee and it says, want to be with you. It's really cute. Okay, I have here um, my block. I have a stamping block. And I'm gonna just put this on there. And I use um, Archival um, Jet Black uh, ink. Move that here. You can see it. Okay, and now what I did was um, I put uh, one big one into the middle and one on top, and then a couple little ones off the edges. Okay, this little center is still wet, but I'm not going to put my stamp there. Now, what I do, I usually uh, test my stamp uh, on uh, scrap paper first. Okay, so I'm going to load. Um, ink and then what I do is um, just stamp on here just to see if it's fully um, stamped and add some more so there that's pretty good start okay just roll that okay now I'm going to put one over here I'm just putting pressure on that very nice and then I'm going to put another one over here. And then I'm going to put one off. Whoops, got stuck to it. Okay, instead of putting one down here, I'm just going to put one over here, just because it's a little pale there. Maybe just catch some bling. Okay, you can put as much as you want. Okay, now to clean your stamp, I did a little video on how to clean your stamp on my Facebook uh, page, Designs by Nita, and this is the Archival Ink Cleaner. It's always best to clean your stamps with this instead of hand sanitizer or baby wipes because what is going to happen is your stamp is going to be clingy, sticky, and then you, you won't be able to use it anymore. You're, you're going to lose all your little fine lines. What you do is you apply some on your stamp, okay? And then you take just paper towel and then just dab on it. And this will clean off all of your uh, black ink. Just get into the little creases of your stamps. 
yes black uh, does uh, stain so there's no worries it's still good okay and then you just take it off and you let it dry okay and then while we're inking I'm gonna have I'm gonna show you the other way uh, for um, the words I have here white cardstock um, it is um, from Michael's it's a 3.7 five by 8.88 8 inches you only need a little piece so i'm going to take the words off okay and try and place this straight i'm going to ink this okay right about here because we're going to cut it anyways okay so that was that one's pretty good this again, you can clean the words as well. I'm going to move all this. Okay, now we're going to need a cerulean a blue. We're going to need some primary yellow, uh, carbon black, and titanium white. Okay, now um, we're going to do, I'm going to just push this aside for one second. We're going to spatter um, some uh, black and some white, okay, and uh, I'm going to put some on my palette. So this is carbon black and uh, titanium white. A little bit over here. Okay. I usually use a fan, but you can also use a, um, this is a, a rigger or a round brush, really uh, wet it, okay, with water. So you want like a puddle, inky puddle. And then I'm just gonna move this aside and then just tap it, okay. And you're gonna have a nice little speck. Now, if you want it to look like um, little water blobs, what I did, I took a baby wipe and i'm just gonna dab it a little section here okay and so dab that and then i'm going to clean my brush and we're going to do the same thing with the white okay, so water this down and then just tap it You put as much as you want. I have more on my pad than I do on my tag. Okay, again, I'm gonna take um, my baby wipe and just smudge it a little bit, okay? Now, next thing that we're gonna do is just add color to our little bee. I'm gonna dry this off just a little bit really wet right there. Okay, now we're going to use the cerulean blue for the little wings. Add a little bit of color to this. And I'm going to use a um, a three eighth uh, angle brush and I'm going to really wet this. I want um, my blue uh, to be a little bit more uh, watery. Okay, so this looks a little bit more watery. And what I did was add it to the edge, um, like choppy little float. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and over here, add a little bit more blue. Again, it's like watered down. Uh, ink uh, paint here okay and i have another little wing here okay then i want to uh, take this little black uh, puddle that i have and we're going to float underneath the wing area the little legs and under its body uh, with some black here now, I don't want this to be dark, so I'm really inking this, okay? 
So we go around the body, down the legs, mid the wing. And just cast us like a little shadow, the antenna. Pick up a little bit more black. Again, I don't want it too, too dark. Antenna. Okay, and let's do that over here. And there's a little bit over here. Okay. And for the B, I took. Um, the uh, primary yellow. And I'm going to add a little drop. You don't need a whole lot of paint for this. And I'm going to take my uh, rigor uh, number four and I'm going to just put this in my yellow. Okay. And what I did was I just colored the B. Some might appear a little darker, but depending on your background, maybe a little brighter. And this little guy over here. Okay, and the legs, if you wanted to, I didn't do it for here, but you can add a little bit of inky um, color in the legs. Oops, too much paint on here. So add more black. So again, it's what you prefer. Okay, now I also took the brush and what I did, I'm going to just dry this off a little bit so I don't touch it. Okay, I uh, took my brush, picked up some black, and what I did was I just rolled it onto the edge. So some areas might not so much too much. I pick up a little bit more paint here. Okay, I'm sure I got some more. Okay, while that dries, um, we can take our little word that I have here, and what I want to do is just rip it around the edge so it's not so straight. Okay, and I rip. That edges over here, okay, and rip the over here and down here. Okay, here's my word. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little bit off, okay, and then that'll go over here now. It's too white, so let's just um, dirty it a little bit. Um, let's pick up a little bit of burnt umber. Okay, I picked up burnt umber, or you can use um, uh, the yellow oxide as well, but just um, smudge it a little bit, a little bit of brown. Makes it look a little old, and then we can choose some black. Along the edge. Makes it look um, like it was on fire. <laughs> we burnt the edges. Okay, let's just dry this off. Okay. I need to dry my little tag off. And again, when it's completely dry, um, it'll go flat. So it's got nice 
fat. Okay, to glue this little word on here, I need, um, I use a matte medium, okay, and I have uh, the Palmer number one flat brush. Okay, and I'm just gonna dip it in here. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is put some on the back, like you can put lots on here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit over here. Put that where you want it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is put some all over this, okay? I didn't do it on this one uh, because I was going to put um, the ultra matte varnish on my tag, but because we're using um, the matte medium, uh, you can do this as a sealer as well. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to put my brush in the water, my lid back on, and grab a baby wipe and just wipe off my the glue here. Okay, we're done with the pad. Okay, now let's just dry this off. Make sure this is straight. And when this dries, it's like a clear, it's really clear when it goes on, it's like a white. Okay, just a little bit over here. Okay, now I love using little washers here. I have my jute string and I also love putting beads at the end of my ropes. Okay, let me get a bead here. So I get these at the craft store, dollar store. It's a variety of beads and they're really hard to open. Um, so we can use a darker one. Let's try that. Okay. I have my bead. You don't need to glue it because it's not going to move anyways. And I kind of eyeball it. So my paper's still a little wet. It'll take a while to dry. Okay, and I think I have it long enough. And cut that. What I usually do is just go through this little loop. Okay. And then what I do is I tie a knot. Oh, it was a little longer, but it's okay. And then I'm going to put the two ends through a little hole here. Okay, and then I'll do another knot. Oops. Where's my other one? That's where you need smaller fingers. Okay. The string could have been a little longer. And then I just undid the little curls here. There we go. And there you have two little tags. You can choose any way you um, want to do it. It's still a little wet. It'll take a while to dry. 
And then this one again, I'm going to add the ultra matte varnish, but you need to wait till it's completely dry uh, before you put this on. And that concludes my little uh, video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share on my YouTube channel. And I look forward to uh, doing more videos. Thank you.